Okay, so now for the second part of this practice problem, in terms of the Great Recession, we talked about what happens in terms of the decline in lending and borrowing. So in terms of the effects, we see that the aggregate demand curve would shift to the left. Now, what is the expectation of the government in this case that it would be to intervene, okay, to try and counteract these effects? Okay, and so what would happen? Instead of waiting, you know, in terms of the long run to actually happen, you know, some concerns that the long run would take too long, is basically for the government to do the following. That what they would do is basically like a stimulus that we were talking about before, where we have government spending going up and taxes falling. So you know, what this would mean Aggregate demand would go up, okay, because again, this is a component. Tax decreases cause consumption to increase, and so that's another reason why aggregate demand would go up. Okay, and so what would be the effect of these in terms of our situation here? The idea is, is that the government would be able to do these policies such that the aggregate demand curve would actually shift to the right. And so, you know, ideally what would happen is, is the aggregate demand, and it would be difficult to be able to shift at just exactly this amount, but the idea is, is that this would be used to counteract these effects from the lending decline, so that then the aggregate demand curve would return to the initial point. And so we would get back to the long run equilibrium. So in terms of the government intervening, The long run would then be that the price level is unchanged, and so is the output. Okay. So the price level would be unchanged, and so would the output level. 